in the backcourt. Williams is out there with Markinen, and it's Vucevic in at the five spot. take time and then you have to build that trust weathering the storms together will obviously help you do that here's what chicago's going with right now thaddeus young he's checked in for markinen junior comes in for williams and zetaransky is subbed in for white and a physical presence is former kentucky wildcat julius randall but but he's got some mobility to go along with it able to move and attack in transition and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, people have uh, talked about Julius Randle's game. He's a power fighter, isn't he? And the guy just bulldozes all the way in. I, I like that phrase, Kevin. You know, very fluid for his size. A pretty good ball handler and passer. I think his shooting is where he's still filling in the gaps. The Knicks making a switch here. Gibson's checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. Tice is checked in. And it's Rose missing. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Young. It's rebounded by New York. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And Garrett gets it to go. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Shoots from the block, and Tice finishes inside. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Sadaransky against Rose. The shot from the low post is good. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Bulls trail by 11. Outside, Levine. Bulls moving the ball around. Top Tice to the middle. Burks with the steal. Over in the corner, Rose and Noel kicks to Rose. Passes to Gibson. He feeds it to Noel. Basket good. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Junior. Here at covering. Young against Barrett. Young, good. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick or the lay-in. Rose with the ball. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Boston. Two on the clock. It's not going to go for it. And so it's New York. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And the three-point shot. Whoa, whoa. Recently, we had a chance to speak with R.J. Barrett about what was a... And Barrett, a guy who's accustomed to winning, at least is an amateur grip. I mean, he won a championship in high school, could have won one in his only year of college. He's going to be a driving force for the organization to get better. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And uh, the next guys have been rolling right along here, haven't they? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. Noel is out there with Taj Gibson. Then there's Alec Burks. Then it's Barrett, and it's Rose in at the point. They're the group New York will start the second one. New York leading by nine. To the paint, here's Burks. Goes back up. No good there. Some solid defense right there from Junior. The Bulls shooting with confidence 50% from the field so far. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you and good evening. The Knicks made changes in coaching and the front office since the start of last season. But the question is, can they move forward? 
Their last winning season was back in 2013. Amidst the frenzy that is the media in New York, they'd like to make headlines going forward for all the right reasons. It's the first time out the players getting... the first two. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of a job. in for the Bulls. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. So for Chicago right now, White and Levine team up in the backcourt. Vucevic is out there with Lowry Markinen, and it's Junior in at the small forward. Rose in the post. White's there. Rose finds Robinson. And that time, also a missed shot. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And last season for Markinen didn't really go as planned. Greg, we know he suffered some injuries and had a hard time establishing his role. Yeah, both the scoring and rebounding were down. And this happens sometimes with a new coach and a new system. But one thing's for sure, the talent is there. Markinen is still very young and has a tremendous upset. Great court awareness by Derrick Rose, reading every inch of the floor so well. Bean passes to Junior. Markin and trying to break loose. Robinson pulls it in. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot select. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. So all teams changing it up here. The Knicks have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. When it comes to addressing his weaknesses, the right hand, the range, Randall has put in the work. Tedoransky looking around to the inside. Young. Oh, and that dunk by Young. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Saturansky against Rose. Here's Burks. Over Junior. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. For explosive leaping of Burks. It serves him well in completing plays like that. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Knicks. Peyton comes in for R.J. Barrett. Free throw good. Burks. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince stars that you've drafted and developed to stay and re-sign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to lose. It's a solid blueprint. That one goes. Count it. Gibson's got his first points of the game. That's where you want your big man doing damage. Gibson showing his skill in the paint. Junior kicks to Young. Junior doesn't go for him. Great tee that time from Gibson. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Peyton dishes the road. Gibson looking it over. The pass to Peyton. 
rebound by Young. Young's got four rebounds now tonight. Inside, Burks with the steal. And pushing it up, here's New York. Floats one, and it's laid in by Peyton. He stands 6'6", he's a combo guard. Burks is capable of handling and creating for others. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Next out front, ending the... And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our state farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And, and what a beautiful... some changes here. Here's Junior, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Nerland's Noel. I mean, even from over here, you can see. The first one falls. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. That one misses. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Knicks. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooter. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Julius Randle. He really played at his preferred pace, never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. It's Randle and Robinson at the four and the five. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Derrick Rose. That's the five for New York right now. And the Bulls making a change here. Felicio is checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Lowry Markinen. Green is checked in for Levine. And Sadoransky is subbed in for White. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Now, here's Barrett. Tight defense on him. That one drops for him. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Free throw good, Junior. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. for New York as they get the win. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and you know, the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge.